Someone said that the windows on my 110 were dirty. Really? Hold my beer. I'll show them. The only way to clean windows. George Farmby. So I was supposed to have a willing worker turn up yesterday to help me strip this Land Rover out and he didn't show up so never mind won't do that again but um, Curtis helped me this morning and we got it all stripped out so I want to show you before we before I power wash it what it's like inside we've ripped everything out look at the ceiling where they've been <laughs> holding up the uh, the wiring we've got to do something about that uh, not too bad otherwise there's uh, no rust on the insides that's very good but like I said we're going to wash all this dirt out uh, and re-carpet it prior to putting the um, it's soundproofing in you've probably noticed over there somebody's put some god-awful speakers in the uh, seat base I think what we might do is just tidy those up and uh, glue a piece of aluminum or aluminium in there to, uh, to cover that hole. They've done that both sides. Let's have a look at the terrible footwells in this. Oh, and look at those terrible doors there. Ooh, aren't they awful? Wouldn't you die for doors like this, look? <laughs> the footwell's got a little bit of corrosion just in that top corner for some reason. I think it's going to clean up well, but this is sort of a before video. Uh, this one come out a little bit worse, it's got a few little sp spots on it. But again, I, I might be tempted to take the floor pans out and re-bolt all this and reseal it again. I think I will, it's worth it, isn't it? Because somebody's painted over all the bolt heads and I think I mentioned that before. I've got to get some of the, uh, the sticky back stuff off there, but I've worked out by uh, soaking it in WD-40, it does come off quite well. But again, all the doors are lovely, you know, they're going to come up really nice. Let's have a look around this side. <clears throat> yeah, all, there's no corrosion in the seat base at all. But like I say, this is a bit funny. And one thing I did notice, and you can't quite, maybe if I come down here you'll see. Can you see how this is all <laughs> dented? Well, remember I said to you it's had a new front prop shaft on it, but somebody's put it on backwards. I bet you that the front prop had snapped <laughs> and been beaten against the bottom of the floor. I bet that was noisy. Anyway, we've corrected that and I might just put, I think I've got a spare floor and I might just put that in. I'm going to take the cover off, make sure all the linkages are nice and free. But uh, yeah, now it comes down to washing off. Now the thing is, it's such a nice day, it should dry out quite quick. So I'm going to leave this for a few days to get it out uh, and dry. But let's get steam cleaning. See what the results are. See you in a minute. I wanted this Defender not clean, but really clean. The reason is I want that uh, um, uh, soundproofing, that kill mat, to stick everywhere. So, let's have a look at it in a minute. But this is a product I used. I use it for my floors. It's a ceramic cleaner. It says corrosive, so it's got to be good stuff. Uh, and it really does get all the grease and poo off. I, you know... When I'm going through this, I found out they'd actually painted, but with a brush, the floor. So we've got paint all over the place. Well, perhaps you can see on the floor there, all the bits of paint that's come off. I'm not too worried because now it's off, I can just sand it down lightly and repaint it. Just with a touch-up gun. But one of the nice things was, if you sort of look in the hinges here, if you blast, <laughs> if you blast it well, you can get all the overspray out of the door hinges <laughs> with the power wash. Mind you, it is steam, so that gets it off. So, I mean, if it ain't going to come off with steam, it ain't going to come off at all. So, unless it is rambling, let's go and have a look. So, there we go. It's all nice and clean now. Um, all the windows are clean. Got a, bit, got a bit of splash up there, but that'll come off with a, the with a duster. But at least the grease is off. Um, Seatbelt's got a bit of a wash, all these corners, and you can see where they've painted this 
but not this but at least I got all the muck out of there it was full of rubbish um, yeah one thing about steam cleaning is it pushes dust you know like dust from one place to another it got it off quite well um, the WD-40 got a certain amount of sticky off there but I'm not too concerned because I'm going to stick carpet over there anyway and then soundproofing and then carpet I'm going to show you how we do that the doors came up lovely look at that look at that There's, look at this here remember these these were doors yours are all patched up probably they're lovely so they're all ready for a kill mat and uh, crown rust proofing drink up uh, the floor wasn't as bad as I thought actually there's a few uh, rust spots but nothing detrimental I thought it was going to be all rusty uh, I'm going to take the steam uh, the um, sandblaster to that and just blast you know spot blast that I think I'll take the floor out because um, I don't like the look of the bolt heads and some things like that so I'll take those out retouch those uh, the other side well it's a little bit rusty but not too bad I can't understand why that side's so rusty uh, but again after 25 years you would have <laughs> thought it would have been a lot worse than that um, yeah well, you can see where somebody's been painting over there, they've made a good job. Inside that box, lovely, bit of a dust round, that's going to be good. My last job of the evening, before I go, is to take the battery out, and somebody's put a plank of wood down there, I've got a proper plank, er, not a proper plank, a proper clamp, should I say, and I'm going to wash that box out. That's, it's going to be good, but you can see all the flaky brush paint, but, well, yeah, see, look at this, it, it comes off, look. I have to get that. I'll go over it with a wire brush in the in the grinder because I've got loads of them now. Take that off, but they're not too bad. Uh, like I say, the series, the ceiling <laughs> series, the ceiling's a comedy of errors of patches and wires and stuff like that. It is the proper wiring because it has uh, lights. Oh my God! Look at that tape. So I think what I'll do once it's dry, I'll put the little wires under the kill mat. Because, I mean, who, who takes it out anyway? It's not a big problem, is it? Anyway, it's degreased. That's good. Right, I hope you like that. <laughs> There's one way to clean a car, isn't it? Not many people do that. Oh, and by the way, the steam cleaner never took the paint off my uh, paint at the other side, so that's got to be good news. See you later.